Good morning, everybody. It's Rob Moffitt. Guys, this is just a video of a bunch of random ideas or things I did or or bought or thought about or things are interesting to me I thought you might be interested to. For example, first one this morning is I was watching uh, Prepper Potpourri and she's got a video this morning about uh, things she's preparing for and she's talking about how her freezer full of food. It uh, The cord came out on the wall and she lost everything in her freezer. Lots and lots of food. And um, I thought, gee, I never thought about you losing your connection to your cord. And I went on Amazon. They have a freezer alarm. Really inexpensive. Anybody out there has a freezer, doesn't have a freezer alarm. <laughs> They're cruising for a bruising, I tell you. I wouldn't want to be dependent on a lot of stuff in my freezer in case times were tough and all of a sudden found out nothing was in there I could eat. I tell you, that was a big surprise to her, I bet. But uh, they're really inexpensive. Uh, you want to check them out. Next, old random thing what he got here. Okay, what is this? This is the hand puppet for the Invisible Man. <laughs> if you think that you're very creative or you're not taking your medication, one or the other. No, that's not what this is. I was thinking, what if you can't, what if you get gloves, what if you can't find them and you need some? You could just use uh, plastic bags. If you had small hands, you can get the uh, types that don't have the uh, Ziploc. They just have the fold that are a little smaller, but very inexpensive, like 125 in the box at a dollar store. This is 15 for a dollar. Just use some tape. Now, you don't get a lot of mobility like you do with, you can't play the piano. You will be like Crab Man. But you got a little bit of uh, mobility with your fingers. So that's something that might come in handy if you're trying to do something. You don't have any gloves. I used these before when I was making some fiberglass boats. I was also thinking about putting them in my pocket. If I was out and about during the day, I could put stuff in my pocket in a plastic bag. And I could put your keys in your uh credit card and so on there. You wouldn't have to go in your wallet and your other pants and so on. That way you keep everything from being contaminated just in a plastic bag. Then you throw it away at the end of the day and wash what was ever in the pocket you're going to reuse. This is something I found a photograph on my files when I was in the hospital last summer. They ask you when you go to the hospital questions. They write on the board. So one thing you should know about me my mind went blank. All I could think of is, I make YouTube videos. For a second, I was going to tell them, like, my favorite things are ponies and shoplifting. But <laughs> I didn't want them to think I was totally insane. And you never know who has a sense of humor in the hospital. But I was so surprised how many people were just fascinated by the thought that I made YouTube videos. Um, I mean, I've been making them for 13 years. I don't think anybody in my family has seen any of my videos. <laughs> I don't know anybody that's interested in my videos except a few people that watch on my channel. Uh, but they were, the doctor talked to me about for 10 minutes about YouTube. I could tell he wanted to make his own YouTube videos, but he kept asking about, well, don't they get sued? Don't they get sued? <laughs> what if they put something up that's not right? You know, but uh, if you, if you want to get uh, a lot of interest, maybe extra attention that you might be needing in the hospital, um, tell me, make YouTube videos. They said, what's the most important thing to me during my hospital stay was to have wonderful memories of being there and leaving. <laughs> I was also going to say, and making sure my attorney gets all the paperwork. <laughs> uh, next thing is a word of warning. Uh, every morning for nine months, I was making the same thing. I'd make a little shake with uh, flaxseed protein powder and a little fiber, mix it up with a immersion blender filtered water and then when I'm done I add blueberries and I let the blueberries sit in the water overnight and mix it up and make a shake in the morning and then I would have oatmeal for breakfast with vegetable or fruit and nuts and seed and so on and the the, the the blueberry shake is delicious it's good for you it's good for your brain good for your eyes good for your heart but the thing of it is, all those things that are good in the blueberries, if you go ahead and drink that with milk, the casein in the milk keeps the body from absorbing all those really good nutrients that are in the blueberries for several hours. So for close to a year, I was having what I thought was a great breakfast with the blueberry shake and the breakfast with the milk. And this is, even though it's powder milk, 
you don't want to have milk with your blueberries. If you're trying to improve your health and you're eating berries, a lot of stuff that's in the berries gets bound up and your body can't absorb it with the milk. So just a tip for that. I didn't realize that till this last month. Great breakfast. Been having this for 20, 30 years. This is my old uh, battery charger. My battery went dead. And it's only from March 2013, seven years old. I mean, it, it, what kind of battery only lasts seven years? This is a ripoff. <laughs> That's amazing, really. I got that long. This was a cheap battery from Walmart. And um, lasted seven years. But I did a test. One of the cells is bad. I'm going to do some experiments, see if I can rejuvenate it with the magnesium chloride that people do on. But the problem is you can do that sometimes and you get 12 volts back, but you don't get the amps. You don't get the cranking amps. So, um, But just this is a nice little uh, battery charger. It's uh, it, it One thing I don't like about it is you don't get it uh, any voltage automatic and like the old battery charger you always had sparks you get you get some 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 uh, voltage and amps right away from the end of it this one has to be hooked up to something before it will give you any any power but um it's been i've used it for a lot for different things here in the house and uh if you have a trolling motor and it's good to have something to charge your battery over the hurricanes come you want something to charge up before the hurricanes come but uh i recommend everybody if they're a prepper, just have a battery charger. And this one also will uh, check your alternator and so on. It's, it's a pretty good one. I like it. Now, what's the next thing? This is a light that I bought three of them to do videos in my house. And after a few years, the cloth around the edges all come apart. It's like a, a sticky uh, Velcro and all just deteriorated. It was the cheapest cloth I've ever seen. And what I've done is just add paper clips. I was going to make something fancy and take a lot of time. I said, you know what? Let's just put this back on with paper clips. And it works fine. <clears throat> you need something heavy on the bottom to keep it from topping over, though, because it's top heavy. This is a jug of vinegar. This is something in my wall in my kitchen. I thought I'd share it. It's, I used to do thrift stores on Tuesdays I'd go to 17 stores and collect stuff and resell one of the, the nicest things and most enjoyable things I sold on eBay were paintings and I kept this one it's very simple looking and the fact that I like it so much I think some people are embarrassed that uh, why would I like something this simple and I just enjoy the composition and the more I've looked at it over the years, the more it gives me joy. This thing cost me 50 cents. It's the best thing I've ever bought in my life for 50 cents that I can think of. Um, it's not a, a, a Dutch Flemish master from the 16th century, but <laughs> but the composition, the, 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 the body uh, language going on here, the, the colors, it's just, it's a wonderful little painting. And uh, for 50 cents, um, the name of the person, I think it's blank, <laughs> B-L-A-N-K. This is something I've been trying to figure out to, what to do with this. this is, I got the, the Mormon foods in cans. And one thing I got, I, I got, one thing I purchased was this spaghetti that's tiny. I like spaghetti. You can twirl it around your fork. And I was wondering what I could do with this. So I just made a little casserole for the microwave and got some eggs, used my fancy beater from the 1950s, and put it in the microwave tray, boiled up the spaghetti, cooked for seven minutes, put some frozen vegetables in there that I like, put in some cheese, put the garlic powder and the parsley and a little oil, and put the uh, spaghetti on top, put it in the microwave for actually more than three minutes, more like five minutes. Makes a great little casserole. Good for one or two people. And so I finally found a way to cook the small spaghetti that I can use and like and enjoy. So that's something I did for last week. Very tasty. This is the car. It's been over a year since I had it painted. 
for $3.99, Auto Painting USA. They charged more because I had to have some bodywork and rust done, repaired. I got this uh, paint service, it was the enamel, the cheapest paint they make, it wasn't the urethane. And I was always worried how long it would last. They do offer a warranty covering the paint, so if it peels or cracks, within so many weeks or months they'll repair it but they don't cover rust and unfortunately i did have a little rust spot that's coming back in the back but the rest of the car looks excellent i've been washing it every week and waxing it like every three months so you saw the old moon rover it's coming back in shape you can see where there's a little bit of paint that's come off the trim here that they didn't do it's my job to do because they only covered the car paint not the trim on the window trim but uh, I use some tape that's not working out too well. This is the rust spots. When I went back to them, they said that uh, they don't cover it. And they said it was probably just hard paint. It wasn't rust because it was very, much smaller than this at the time. But they said it would charge $200 to fix. But they didn't say what the warranty would be. Because <laughs> evidently there was no warranty when they did it the first time. But I'm still pretty happy. Um... This is what it looks like after one year. It's still in good shape. I use this armor all every week or every 10 days. And then I wax, not with this wax. This was not good. I use this wax. Nope, that's not it. That's, this, is, this is good. This is turtle wax. You'd be surprised how many birds fly over your car once you get your car painted. Um, I left out the picture, I guess. It's just Meguiar's, but it wasn't the spray one. It's the ultimate Meguiar's. I'll leave a link to it in the video description. It's the best wax I've ever used. If I had known how easy and well it would work, I would have been waxing my car for a long time. This is something I'm going to try on my car next. I've got some duct tape on my trim, but it's already starting to get wrinkles um, after like two and a half weeks. So this is made for trim and you put a primer on there and everything. So. That's what I'm going to try next. I'll leave a link to it. You guys can check it out if you're interested in fixing your trim in your car instead of painting it. What's next? Oh, instead of putting my hand on everything. Last week I was saying, what are things you can use a pencil for? Well, <laughs> here's, here's some things you can use a pencil for. Instead of putting your fingers when you're out and about. Um, I found you can even also open doors in the house and in stores, like uh, these type of doors with your pencil. And light switches obviously so and then little different things so yeah i'm going to be using my pencil more putting in that plastic bag in my pocket when i come home and wash it off <laughs> i've had some apples in the house that were really hard and kind of green and they didn't make my stomach feel too good so i chopped them up real fine with some cabbage and some dollar store sausages and put them in the pan and slow cooked them with some olives and a little olive oil and some spices and actually turned out delicious. I'm going to use apples as cooking more often. It was very nice. I enjoyed it. And a couple weeks ago I made a stove top cornbread and it turned out really well. I put it in a tramontina pan on top of the stove 25 minutes. This week I've been putting in some coconut and apple and raisin with little spices and it makes the same cornbread except it tastes like a dessert. Put a little peach in there and some Greek yogurt and you have a delicious cornbread dessert and on top of the stove. So guys, that's what is going on this last week for me. I thought you might be interested and I want you to know I put on new videos every week. Been doing it for 13 years, got over 800 videos, a whole bunch of playlists way down the bottom on different things. Got a bunch of cool people here on my channel that I feature. No relation to me. They would deny it anyway. <laughs> a lot of different people here, just like me, a lot of different stuff on my channel. You never know what you're going to find. And uh, I hope you come back. And I've, please check out my other videos. I got over 800. There's, if you're interested in about anything, I've probably got a video talking about it and doing it all right guys that's kind of rambling here now hope you enjoyed this video it's kind of different for me i i've been doing a lot of uh, 
videos of just just random stuff I do during the week that you might be interested in. And uh, it's been fun for me. I hope this is something that turns out to be fun for you guys too. All right, time to go. See you out there.